Change Your Thinking Change Your Life By Brian Tracy Chapter 3 Dream Big Dreams Dream lofty dreams, and as you dream, so shall you become. Your vision is the promise of you shall at last unveil John Ruskin. Your mind can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Your thoughts alone have the power to make you healthy or sick, rich or poor, popular or unpopular. Your mind is like a powerful force that can be turned in any direction to bring about wonderful results, or wreak havoc and destruction. Your main goal in life must be to harness your amazing powers and direct them intelligently and systematically toward achieving everything you really want. A Journey Through Italy Let me tell you a story. Some years ago, I took my family to Italy on vacation. We toured several of the great art museums of Rome and Florence. In Florence, there is a special museum that was built to house the statue of David created by Michelangelo several hundred years ago. This is perhaps the most beautiful piece of sculpture in the world. The actual physical experience of being in the same room with it is something that none of us has ever forgotten. The story of the creation of the David is very interesting and contains a lesson for all of us. Michelangelo was commissioned by the Medici's to create a statue for the main square in Florence. The Medici's were the wealthiest and most powerful family of Italy at the time. A commission for a statue from the Medici's was not only a great honor, it was also a task that could not be refused. For two years, Michelangelo searched for a block of stone out of which he could create the kind of masterpiece the Medici's were looking for. Finally, on a side street of Florence, partially overgrown with weeds and covered with dirt, he found a huge slab of marble lying on wooden trestles. It had been hauled down from the mountains years before and had never been used. Michelangelo had walked past the street many times, but this time he stopped and looked more closely. As he walked back and forth studying the block of marble, he actually envisioned the statue of David and saw it in its entirety. Great success requires long, hard work. The sculptor quickly arranged to have workmen haul the block of marble to his studio some distance away. He then began the long, hard job of hammering and chiseling. It took him two solid years of work to create the rough outline of the statue. He then put his hammers and chisels aside and spent two more years polishing and sanding before the statue was complete. Michelangelo was already famous as a sculptor, and the news that he was working on a major commission for the Medici spread all over Italy. When the day came for its first public viewing, thousands of people came from all over Italy and gathered in the main square. When it was unveiled, the crowd stood gaping in awe. It was breathtakingly beautiful. People cheered. Women fainted. The audience was amazed at the incredible beauty of the enormous statue. Michelangelo was immediately recognized as the greatest sculptor of his age. Afterward, when Michelangelo was asked how he was able to create such a masterpiece, he replied by saying that he saw the David complete and perfect in the marble. All he did was to remove everything that was not the David.